<laughs> hey, Fremantle might be in yeah. this year's grand final because they produced one of the great results of the day. They beat Geelong in Geelong by three points. This game certainly lived up to the hype. We spoke about it all week. It's only the fourth time in Dockers history they've beaten the Cats at GMHBA Stadium. How did today's performance alter your opinion of Frio, Bucks? I've been a, a rap for him for a long time, Kath. Thanks for asking. But um, I, um, <laughs> they actually had seven goals kicked against them on turnover, which is the highest uh, score against them defensively, sort of on, on turnover. But if you want to announce yourself, go down to Geelong's home ground and beat Geelong. That's, that's a perfect way to announce yourself as a, as a contender in this competition. They did it without their Ruckman and without their, their main key forward as well. So I think when we saw the ins and outs coming into the game, no Darcy, no Tavern, and we thought, oh, that... That takes away from what mm. we think is going to be a great spectacle. But they, it, it's, a, it's a classic example of, a, of not who you play with in terms of personnel, but how you play. And they're playing a brand that we know is going to stack up in, in big games. And I think that was the performance they needed to frank the great work they've done so far this you, year. You look at the team list and you just think, well, I don't know how? a lot of those guys. Yep. But behind the surnames, there are traits that just have yeah. great synergy and come together as a, as a great team, which is ultimately what, what every coach is trying to put together, what every club is trying to put together. So three out six and one um, are, are franking their early season form against lower opposition, against better, better teams. And particularly that final quarter when they just withstood all that pressure and managed to hang on by three points. Um, does that make them the second seed behind Melbourne or do you reserve judgment until Sydney play Brisbane Tomorrow we'll at the oh, that's a game of the round. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm looking forward to that. And Sydney absolutely blew Brisbane away last year in round one, the last time they played. So I'm looking forward to that to see how the Lions boys respond because uh, I think that'll be fresh in their minds, even though it was nearly 18 months ago. So you're not saying that Fremantle are the second seed? No, I, I just think it's Fremantle, Brisbane, Sydney. Um, yeah, Maybe you could have St Kilda up there, but I've put a line through them now for uh, 2022. <laughs> um, so uh, it's, it's hard to tell. We, we've spoken about it a lot. Fremantle play the closest brand to, to Melbourne. Um, but, you know, I, I think Brisbane and Sydney have shown their strengths as well.